Turkish Aerospace TA and Turkish Defense Industry Agency have unveiled the T-929 ATA-K2 heavy attack helicopter, a heftier and larger version of the T-129 that it intends to replace in Turkish service. The T-929 is envisioned to be operated by the Turkish armed forces and export customers and is expected to make its maiden flight in the coming weeks. The T-929 follows the typical attack helicopter layout with a step tandem cockpit, stub wings, and fixed tailwheel type landing gear. Jane says the T-929 cockpit is armored against 50 caliber rounds and has a large display area. Its stub wings can carry 1,200 kilograms of ordnance, such as air-to-surface and air-to-air -air missiles, guided and unguided rockets, and a chin-mounted T-30H 30mm chain gun and S. Elson forward-looking electro-optics slash inferred turret. Jane says that the T-929 prototype is powered by two Ukrainian motor site TV-3117 VAM-ASBM 1V series 1 turboshaft, in contrast to the US-made twin LHTECT-800s on the T-129. The use of LHTECT-800s on the T-129 caused delays to Philippine export sales due to U.S. sanctions on Turkey, stemming from Turkey's purchase of Russian S-400E air defense systems in 2019. The Jane's report notes that production models will have twin TS-1400 turboshafts from domestic manufacturer TUSA's Industries. The T-129 is smaller than its U.S. and Russian counterparts, which may present some design limitations, such as smaller fuel and armaments load. Comparing the T-129 to the U.S. A-64 Apache SOFREP notes in an August 2022 article that the T-129 can outrange the A-64 by nearly 100 kilometers while the A-64 is faster by 80 kilometers per hour. In addition, SOFREP says that the T-129 and A-64 can carry roughly the same amount of ordnance, with the T-129 capable of carrying eight UMTAS 160mm long-range anti-tank missiles, 76 unguided 70mm rockets for close air support, 16 CIRIT 70mm missiles, or eight Stinger air-to-air -air missiles. The report mentions that the A-64 can carry equivalent weapons, such as the Stinger, AIM-9 Sidewinder, Sidearm, and guided and unguided 70mm rockets. It also says that the T-129 has a 20mm can with 500 rounds, while the A-64 has a single-barrel 30mm gun that has a 1,200 round per minute rate of fire. 